Hello everyone, a warm welcome back to previous viewers of the channel and a big hello to those who have subscribed since I last did one of these channel updates earlier in the year. Uh, this is the uh, June 2024 update. I want to run through a few things about the uh, short and longer term future of the channel. And yeah, I suppose the first thing I want to do really as we look at Slay the Spire here on screen is run through a few of the ambitions that I had at the top of the year and then uh, how that is playing out currently is what I would like to address. So in um, uh, January, I was hoping to continue my Divine Divinity playthrough and get um, like a good a good chunk of episodes out of that. Um, because that was a series that um, I started a long time ago and I was really keen to return to because I, um, I really enjoy it as a game and I enjoyed the kind of the um, little narratives that I could weave as I was playing along. Uh, and I'm really happy that I have, uh, I consider I have achieved that really. It's been Divine Divinity episodes uh, pretty much one a week for for several months and I, um, I'm i really pleased with how that's turned out. It's got through kind of two, two I'd say broadly two narrative chunks um, that I've, I, I found really fun. Um, and particularly I'd encourage you to check out, if you haven't already, the most recent episode, which I think I called Die Hard, um, which was a bit of a nightmare to play and record. Uh, to be honest, fair, it was uh, it was quite an effort of uh, editing as well, but I think it's turned out as a really um, a really fun episode that kind of shows off uh, both the tone uh, with which I uh, approach the game and uh, kind of the um, the nature of of playing the game as well, uh, whilst kind of trying to maintain a um, a role playing veneer as well. So I think if you want an example of what that um, what the playthrough is like, that's probably as good a place as any to to dip into it. Um, I do usually start the episodes with a recap of where my character Jeanne has got to on her adventures. So if you are in inclined to uh, see what my Divine Divinity playthrough is all about, probably check that one out as a as a, a recommendation from me. Um, and the um, the other ambition I had was to follow up on any kind of partial or incomplete series so we're visiting things like Dune 2 which have, has been on the back burner for a long time um, and try and um, push those off and I also really want to get back to live streaming and that is where we come uh, to what we're looking at now really which is Slay the Spire. So if you had been subscribed back in February um, you may have noticed a couple of notifications of me going live streaming um, I did indeed try to stream a couple of times in February, um, only to find that uh, my computer can't really handle it anymore. Um, this is, uh, you'll see uh, Slow Spy is about to get a lot less functional uh, once I click enemy turn here, um, which should demonstrate some of the, uh, the issues I'm up against. So this is, uh, this is what Slow Spy looks like for me uh, while I am running the game and uh, audio capture and video capture as two two other pieces of software running so I can edit the the two things separately afterwards um, yeah it's 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 not great so my computer because I use uh, what is now a pretty old iMac to do everything on um, it had a, a pretty catastrophic crash uh, during December 2023 uh, did manage to get it repaired um, but that involved uh, ostensibly um, a significant downgrade in its graphical and processing capabilities so it, it can't handle uh, me playing Slay the Spire while there's screen capture going on it just it just can't it can't do it um, let alone uh, doing that and also passing through video uh, to streaming software so uh, unfortunately uh, even with the uh, lowest tech game I could I could try and uh, get to um, get to your screens. Um, unfortunately, uh, streaming is going to be off the table for the time being, unless I can find a um, well. Really, I just need a, a replacement machine to um, to run things on at this point. But that's not looking like it's an easy thing to achieve. So that's 
that's probably a long-term project is to get back to streaming unfortunately in the short term the other uh, the other thing that's going on for me is that um, there, are, there are quite a few life things that are occurring that I, I need to dedicate time to and unfortunately it is a it is a choice of um, what I choose to spend the time on so I'm gonna have a reduced capacity for uh, playing and recording and for all the editing that needs to take place to produce videos so I'm afraid um, I'm not gonna be able to stick to a regular schedule for uploading anything I'm gonna try and upload uh, record edit and upload things when I can but it might be it might be quite intermittent um, so I want to let you let you all know that and if you have any if you have any comments or suggestions or um, anything you'd like to to say really uh, please do leave me a comment you can probably uh, drop something in the community section of YouTube as well if there's anything that you would like to um, to let me know that would be fine if you want a mini a little mini opinion on um, Slay the Spire I um, it's a game that I have sunk many hours into i really enjoyed playing as the um initial three characters and i found it like a pretty uh forgiving difficulty curve to get through to kind of the qualifying end point of each of those three journeys i locked the fourth character the watcher i think they're called um and then the the, the game basically flipped on its head uh for me anyway um and the difficulty rose incredibly so i've i've desperately tried to get to the the further stage to like fully complete the game and uh, it's been very difficult for me and i've kind of lost i've kind of lost the will to do it really because a lot of what you see in the course of the random generation um repeats frequently enough over the course of that many runs through the game that you um you get pretty bored of of the same things and without the ability to exercise more control over your starting conditions I kind of I, I kind of can't be bothered with the randomization either so um, one of my ideas for streaming earlier in the year was to um, to try and get some uh, audience help to uh, to get me to sl finally slay the spire which is still something I, I would quite enjoy trying out um, had I the technological capability to do that um, but if you've got any hints or tips, leave those in a comment too, because um, I'd be happy to read them. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there, and until we next see each other, take care, and uh, my best wishes to all of you. Bye bye.